So here we are. It's day one, Friday, uh, August the second. Uh, we've been open for about three or four days. We're getting packed up. Main Street is already crazy, and it's only eleven o'clock in the morning. Uh, I think this is going to work. Crazy idea, but seems like it's working. of his own height. The first day of the rally and we are already packed. I cannot even believe it. killing it we've seen all kinds of badass bikes but uh we're gonna take a stroll with richard and um probably get mobbed Yay! what's up guys how's Yay! everybody doing can high five? you can get a low thank five you, thank you, richard. right thank on you, guys richard. thank you kick ass guys hey thank y'all for coming out man cool i love these fucking animals they're playing with those are stuffed fucking cadavers, man. Those are the ones no, that were fucking not. Those yes. are the ones that wrestle. Oh, yeah, we saw them outside fighting yesterday. Yeah, we thought they, they were hitting they each other. They're, yeah. they're, they call them couch pillows. Okay, I've seen it all. I'm now. fucking seeing you some of those for the ranch. <laughs> what the hell? I love to get so fucked up, I'd be scared at night. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? <laughs> Goddamn cook in my bed. Hey, you get up, hey, uh, you're gonna take a piss, you're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta learn to sleep with the fear. So this is freaking crazy. Hey, I was out here yesterday, this guy had this like World War II motorcycle. Oh, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was dressed in full uniform. Hey, like it was cool as shit. Right on, hey, man. Keep up with us on YouTube. Right on. So this is crazy. There's like five deep bikes everywhere. It is nuts. It has been really nuts to watch this city grow go like double, down. triple, double, triple again uh, in the amount of people. There's only 7,000 people that live here, and there's like 700,000 here right now. Hell, there's 7,000 bikes right here. Where the hell do all these people shit? <laughs> what? He's, he's counting. Oh, wow. I don't know what the fuck that was. Fuck yeah! Look at this! Get you some of that. Woo! <laughs> What's up, Richard? All right, don't get too close. Your wiener's out there, man. You can get oh, that's close. A How job. you All right, here we go. See? What happens in Sturgis stays in Sturgis. That's right. How y'all? Good. Yep. Right on. I'm good. Thank you. No, you can't have that out, right? I can't. Nope. What's you have the... to be in an approved Sturgis container? Oh shit. So you go to any bar, buy a ten dollar cup, put it in there, you'll be fine. All right. I'm going to the bar. So can I go to the bar and get a tub, or I gotta? You're gonna have to slam it. God dang it! Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> One right here. Hey, right here. All right, I'm going in there. Thank y'all. Well, uh, I ain't got it. They won't let me in. I just, I just want to be safe. Right on. Good to see you. Right on, guys. Y'all, rubber side down.
right guys, 2024 Sturgis, time to go interview some people. Well, I see our first victims. It's some familiar faces from Dallas, so let's go bother them. It's packed in here, so it's hard. Excuse me. It's packed, it's packed, we love it. Look at this, look at this. What's up, John? Brother James is here visiting, How you doing, brother? Man. Yeah, How are you locking it? Doing great, first time to Sturgis. Yeah? Genuinely happy for Richard. Way to go, Richard. I You're know. fucking killing it. Dude, it's good, right? Yeah. We miss my brother Dennis. Catch you next time. Brother Mike's here. My friend Sophia's here. You've been here, right? This is my first time here. Um, won't be my last. Uh, I know Richard plans to stay here for years to come, so we plan on coming back to support. That's my first time too. Yours? It is my first time as well. I see more trouble a little bit past. That's, a, that's, that's trouble right all over it right there. Yeah, we have to go. Is. We have to go sneak one more little interview with you guys right here. Right. So down to the wild one. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I don't believe it one <laughs> bit. I don't believe it one bit. Brother Mike, how's your time? You having a good time? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah? How do you time. like the bar right now? That's fantastic. I love it. The full open bar. We got liquor there, not yeah. just beer and wine. Actual liquor, not exactly. malt liquor. Not malt liquor. Exactly. Real stuff. Real stuff. Come to Gas Monkey Bar. All right, well, I'm going to go bother other people. It's real awkward. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I like hey, you know what? I talking into that wrench. Is that a metric? No, nope. standard <laughs> American standard like size. 11, 7, 11 sixteenths. You ain't got your readers on. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm out of here. It's good. I love seeing you guys. Fantastic. I'll find you after this is done. All right? Cool. All right. See you guys. All right. Well, let's go find some more people. All right? This guy looks friendly. Let's holler at him. Hey, brother. What's going on? Hey, man. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Let us know your name and everything. Man. My name is Louis Tumanaro, and I'm from Montana. Nice to meet you, dude. You, you got a familiar face about you. Yeah, we have a TV show on the Outdoor Channel called The Gunfather. What? That's right, man. We restore guns on national television. Dude, local celebrities here in the house. Hey, I might not be as big as Richard, but you want to know something? I'm trying. Dude, hey, it's all in fun, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. if you're still on TV, I mean, you're still doing something right. Hey, man, I'm, I really, really enjoy what I do. I love guns. I love bikes. I was coming down the road the other day. And I seen the sign here, and I had to come. <clears throat> yeah, how do you like it, by the way? You know, this is our first year. We just set it up, God, what, June we started building? So, I mean, what do you think about it? Oh, man, I, I, I think that you guys did an amazing job with this place. Location is amazing. Like, right across the street from Holly Davidson? Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, the strippers right there? I think you guys are going to kill it. Did you say the strippers right there? <laughs> well, you know. Oh, the strip. The strip. The strip. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah, but I've, I've been watching Richard since... Um, the early days of when he was first on TV, and uh, I think he's doing an amazing job and still is doing an amazing job. And of course, for all you guys to have to deal with him, God bless you. <laughs> oh man, he ain't that bad. They made him look out awful. He's good, but he'll be here in a little bit. So when he gets here, I'll tell him to come over and holler at you, all right? Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right, brother. Thanks for the good interview. I'm going to go uh, bother some more people. Oh, yeah. Man. All right, so we're going to come and interview the man himself, the guy that keeps it running right now, Rick in the kitchen, bro. Yo, hey <laughs> you didn't think you were going to get away from me, right? Hi, oh, hey. All right, Rick. This is the man. This guy keeps it rolling. Uh, I'm probably already irritating him because I'm in here, but you know what? You nope. got to do it. You got to do gonna it. It's going to work. It's going to work. So, Rick, what are you thinking about everything? I'm going to follow you with it. Look, it's amazing. I had no idea it was going to be like this. Yeah. I mean, I knew it was going to be a big deal, but I didn't know it was going to be like this. I don't like this walking around. Yeah, you stay with me. I can't stay. I don't have time to stand still. We're going to have to keep moving. Dude, he's so busy right now. I mean, obviously, he's not bullshitting. This has been nuts. Look at all the, the freaking receipts and everything coming in. Outside of just it being busier than what you thought, what do you think about the whole establishment period, being here, being a part of it? I mean, what is it, man? You're part of the family now. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, it's growing like crazy. I can't wait to what... I mean, we've come so far. <laughs> we've come so, so far. <laughs> Next year is just going to be five times this. I mean, it's we're just going to keep going. So we get to keep you next year? Is that what you're telling me? We're going to keep growing. It's going to get better. That's the best news I've heard all day. We're keeping Rick. All right, well, we're going to get out of here. I'll come back and visit you in a little bit, but uh, right, let's let him cook. Come back when you're hungry. 
All right, guys, I'm a little bit nervous doing this. I don't know how to work this thing and it's kind of awkward. So I want to go get a beer. So let's go check out the beer tubs out here. Come on. So first official taste in, let's say we're testing temperature is what we're going to do, right? So it sure does look cold and good. How is it going? It's going amazing. Are I'm you having so fun? Oh, fuck yeah, I'm having fun. Woohoo! It's always good making money, right? Oh, of course, making is everybody, good money here. Is everybody tipping you well? Not everybody. There's been a couple that haven't, but that's where you just gotta, you know what I mean? Get that's why she works here. Yeah. Well, this is super awkward for me, so I wanted to come and test the temperature of one of your beers. All right, which one? Let me get a... A Miller Lot. A Miller Lot. Sorry, we don't have a garage here. Okay. Boom! Bada boom, bada bing. What is it? Bada boom, bada bing. How much? Six. Wow, that's cheaper than everybody else. I know. That's Plug. why you gotta come to Gas Monkey. It's cheap. And you get some beautiful ladies. Thank you. Enjoy. All right, temperature test. Let's see. <sighs> it's nice and cold. All right, so the beer tubs are working. This beer is ice cold. It's making money. So uh, I'm going to go polish this off, and uh, we'll get back to interviewing some people. Yeah. All right. So you were my guy's, uh, her name was uh, LaDonna, right? Correct. Because I was, I was kicking on the interwebs and trying to find some cool stuff up here, and I saw that they're making these by hand and painting them and uh, using a rosebud. And, uh, you know, since I'm American, and, uh, well, that's about all I can say as a celebrity. I'm not allowed to talk shit about the horrible spot that we are in as a government right now. But anyways, this is kick ass. So you guys came from where? Northwest Lake, Iowa. Iowa. Northwest Iowa. All right. And uh, you came here just to give me this. That is pretty kick ass. What's your names? Blake. Mike. Kylie. Kylie. Fred. Right on. Tom. Right on, right on. Well, super cool. Thank you, LaDonna, for getting this done. I know you guys are running behind. You had a lot of orders. I'm not quite sure where I'm putting it, but it's definitely going to be in a spot where everybody can see it because God bless America. You can have any beliefs you want in this country, but you better worship this flag because it's the shit. motorcycles everywhere but we're gas monkey we like loud big cars badass horsepower and dude guess what we got Archie with something totally what is something totally random yeah dude. For sure. and it is <laughs> look at this how much horsepower do you say you just had between 23 and 2500 horsepower 23 to 2500 horsepower in a Ford Ranger bro yes, sir. Yes, so sir. hey fellow Texas guys bringing big horsepower out for here sure. we had to bring a little bit of gas monkey swag to a motorcycle rally so <laughs> dude course. Archie yeah, Thank yeah. you for parking here, bro. Yes, Tell us a little bit about the rig, dude. I mean, where are you uh, going to be? What's up? Man, depending on the day, it could be a Mazda, it could be a Ford. It's all the same, you know? Is, is uh, it a <laughs> Mazda V2000. Uh, if you don't know, you don't know, right? But yeah. um, simple build, dude. Uh, key flat, 540 cubic inch, uh, big block Chevy. Um, 1671 blower, makes about 38 pounds of boost. Oh, God. Yeah, pure methanol. Uh, that's how we like to do it, man. It's just a uh, little burnout truck that we built. We're uh, pretty far away from home, but we're looking to tear it up, you know? Hey, I'm glad that we got some fellow Texans here, dude. And I already sure. asked you, why didn't we see you out at Lacey's event? But I forgot. We only it was blown up, man. man. It blew it up first event, 38 seconds in. I just got it together. I was actually in Connecticut doing burnouts with uh, Garrett, Cleese McFarland over there. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, went over there with all the Aussies. Okay. And then on vacation over here. and. It just happened to work out, so. Dude, no way. All right, so oh, yeah. you, where are you gonna be tomorrow? What'd you say? Uh, the Thunderdome. Thunderdome. Yeah, 1 p.m. and 10 p.m. Doing ride-alongs if y'all make it out. Ride-alongs? Yeah, they're like. I get us... the passenger seat? Oh, yeah. Brandon, yeah. you know where we're going tomorrow, bro. For sure, yeah. Definitely gonna be a good time, so. <laughs> There's about well, eight sweet, of us. Dude. Hell yeah, man. Appreciate the invite, uh, man. This is great. We're gonna leave this parked here, so I mean. uh. You got a shop, I can leave it in over there overnight. Yeah. You know? Well, I'll treat you to a beer then. No, no driving, course. let's go. Oh, hell yeah, man.
tonight, Indian Corporate uh, rented out the, the patios out front. They're having a little uh, party uh, for all the people that came in from all over the world that ride Indian motorcycles, work for Indian motorcycles, and what have you. So we got to keep them going and flowing with uh, food and pizza and beer and drinks. And I got to tell you, this is a blast. A lot of work. You can probably see that I'm a little worn out, but uh, let's go have a good time. Today, like you hear of the horror stories when I was looking at buying a place out here, the girls that come in and want to work, they make a little fast cash, then they want to party, they want to call in and not come to work. It's a nice day, they probably met some dude, they're out riding. So we're short about five people that I can count. I'm a little rusty. I uh, hadn't slung t-shirts like this in a long time. Uh, a lot of people remember the very first of the days we had an old 64 uh, Econo line van. Uh, we call it the swag van. I still have it and uh, I guarantee you we slung a lot of merch out of that thing the first few years and I'm rusty. So we're about halfway through rally now and I guess a few days ago we realized, oh my gosh, we're like selling through all this merchandise way quicker than we thought we were going to. Some of our favorite designs we were about to sell out of, like completely. And we brought a lot of merchandise up here too. We brought trailers and trailers full of stuff. So we were about to sell out and I'm really glad we were able to plan ahead and get those orders up here so that we can, you know, take care of everybody in the community and make sure they've got their gas monkey shirt. On top of that, I mean, everyone's killing it up here. We've really like come together as a team. We've got the merch team really like great cohesion going on, going on. Everyone's stepping up. Everyone's like hustling out here. And same thing with the bar and the restaurant. And we are killing it. I'm so happy like looking at the numbers of what we're doing and just seeing the community engagement, all the people coming out and having a great time and partying. It really warms my heart. We're just really happy to be here in Sturgis. Alright guys, so listen, I was standing around, no I was working, I was not standing around, Richard don't watch this. Anyways, I was having a beer and I looked over and I seen a OG Gas Monkey shirt and a Gas Monkey hat. This is super cool, so let's uh, let's go try to find this guy, let's go interview him. I mean obviously he's been a fan for a while, so uh, see what he knows, see where he got it, all the good stuff, you know. Hell, he might even came here to see it. I found it, I found it, I found it. And he, he's... He's on crutches, so let's hope nothing bad happened. Well, hi guys. Hey there. Hey, what's up? I seen a gas monkey hat and a gas monkey shirt. Yeah. A very old gas monkey shirt. It is OG style. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Where, when did you get it? Uh, back in 2013, I think, in Dallas, Texas. And I'm from Iowa. At the shop or the bar and grill? At the bar and grill. Ah, uh, did, did you visit the shop? I did not. Damn it, dude. You know what? It still just, counts. It still counts. It, didn't they then, though? Like back in 2013, something like that? Probably. Let's be honest, probably. Uh, we were so young well, man, back then. Huh? You know, we were so young back then. It's a long time ago. We right? were young. I know. I showed you that. You know. <laughs> you know. Well, good. okay. You went to the original Barn Grill. I did. Now you're at the new Barn Grill. How are you liking it? I love it. It's great. It's really nice in there. Really nice. So. Let me ask you, is it just ironic or did you wear this so you could come here wearing your Gas Monkey swag? Oh, I knew I was coming here. I love it. I love it all the way from Iowa and wanted to have your gear on. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm glad y'all are all here. Is that, this your whole group? It is. This is my whole group here. So are y'all from Iowa, to, Iowa, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Iowa. Yep. Did y'all ride here? Yep. yep. You rode the whole way here? Yeah. How long is that drive? Uh, six, seven hours. Y'all are better men than me. I, hell no. I ride Rich's bike around the block and I'm over it already. My 
27th year in a row, and I think his 28th in a row. Driving here. Be off road every trip. Yes. Every year. Yes. Even with crutches. I was gonna say, is this why you're walking on crutches? Because I drove here and my knees hurt just from driving. No. That's not. What, what happened? What happened? Did it happen here? No. Okay. Good. Good deal. Good it's deal. One of those things. <laughs> <laughs> but you rode. You're hurt, and you still made it here. You came to see the bar, and y'all are enjoying it. Absolutely. Everybody loving it. Did y'all get food yet? We got some merch though. You got some merch? We got some merch. Well listen, I have to say the food here is really good, just like the bar and grill that you've been to before. Sure. We have badass food. Rick is a badass cook, so you'll have to come back later when you get hungry. Cause you look, it's early, y'all already started on beer. I have to. We're gonna have to eat at some point, right? Absolutely. We'll come back. No. This is where we park anyway, so it's right there. It's perfect. Y'all just parked across the street? Oh yeah. Oh well, you gotta come back there. Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, I will let y'all to it. Y'all look like y'all are ready to get out of here and go see the scenes. Nice to meet y'all, and uh, I'm going to go bother more people. Sounds good. Thank you. How awesome is that? 27, 28 years of coming to Sturgis, and they came here first. Dude, this is just getting cooler and cooler. So we got to go, you know, see our guys over here. Corn dog with no name. We brought them in from Texas. Uh, best corn dogs you ever had. And uh, they've been giving us hell all week, so now it's my turn. Let's go mess with these boys a little bit. What's up, guys? Yeah, y'all didn't think y'all was gonna get out of here without getting, you know, on camera, did you? Yeah, look at you. Don't be shutting down on me now. Hey, how's it going? How are y'all loving it? I mean, how's it going? Oh man, you know we're over here. We're rocking and rolling. It's the first year in Sturgis. We're uh, having a good time. We you know, living life, the American dream. We're uh, doing corn dogs, funnel cakes, serving curly fries, fried pickles. Uh, but it's it's a hot one. But we're rocking and rolling today, boss man. Hold on. You said when the hell do we get fried pickles? I'd have been on that. <laughs> man, it's a surprise, man. You know, we like to surprise the people as they come, you know what I mean? You're hiding shit from me. <laughs> well, I mean, y'all making good way? Y'all making some money? I mean... All right, we're making some, man. We're making a little bit of money here. You know, we're not here for the looks, but sometimes we're here for the looks, man. You never know, but we're rocking and rolling. We're uh, waiting. The rally barely started. We're waiting for the people to roll in. The motorcycles are roaring. So it's going to be a good one today, man. Well, we just got a few days left, man, so... uh. Hopefully we can make it through. I know y'all been here long as we have. What is this day? What is it? 10, 20, 50, 7? I don't know. Dude, I lost count. I thought I was on a whole different year already, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I won't bother y'all anymore. Y'all back here hustling. And, uh, dude, I hope y'all make some money, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, man. Y'all come check us out. Corn with no name, man. We're right here off of Junction Road uh, in front of Gas Monkey, man. Come check us out. Best corn dog you ever had. Come on. All right, guys. So there's CJ. She's running the bar. Let's see if we can't get a word in with her. Hey, CJ. Um, how's it? Hey, CJ, C CJ, hey, hey, CJ, can you come back? All right, so we're midway through the week and uh, it's been pretty crazy. Uh, super happy with the turnout. Uh, super, super happy with all the press we've been getting. Uh, the, the city, uh, the state, uh, everybody seems to be really happy that we're here. Uh, I've already done a lot of radio interviews, a lot of TV interviews. I went out and announced uh, one of the flat track races yesterday. Uh, and and that, believe it or not, that's a lot of work. That's moving around, shaking a lot of hands and kissing a lot of babies, but I love it. Uh, the turnout's been great. As far as the bar and all of the workings of it, it's a challenge. It's it's uh, it's been pretty crazy, but uh, we're learning as we go. You know what? Please welcome us with open arms, and all the people that come from all over the world for the 84th Sturgis Bike Rally have been very, very nice and very cool. And I'm really having a blast. I can't wait to see the, how the rest of the week goes, and uh, hopefully it goes as well as the first of the week. And then we'll be happy. And then I'll go home and count money, and probably realize I needed to do a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> 